You got merger on Liz. Oh wow. We forced a revive? And uh... Isn't this like a game over this week? <laughs> yeah, I think this is game over, bro. It's like... Gota has high resistance, so he gets clapped. That one breaks the shield, and then this one kills. Whew. Seal this man's life steal, and uh, let's see what these gold cards do. We crit too, nice. Interesting. So um, Liz Reflect doesn't interfere with Merlin's shield, but if he attacks and breaks it, he takes a bunch of damage and kills himself. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy and for this one We're gonna be dropping off some people in ungeared PvP Using my free-to-play Merlin. So my summons will be up later today, right? I picked her up. I basically just got her to level 80 brought her to Super Awakened 4 and I decided not to buy any cosmetics for her yet because I wanted to see how good she is if you're free to play and you just go in and you pick up a copy or two. For me, she's currently at two out of six and she's gonna stay like that for a good while. Probably indefinitely, but we'll see. We'll see, All right? Anyways, before we get into it, if you enjoyed the showcase, feel free to drop a like. It greatly helps the channel. Additionally, if you have any teams you'd like to see me try out, with Merlin while she's free to play friendly with no cosmetics please do not hesitate to ask leave it in the comments I'll be more than happy to try it out for you so the team we're gonna run right now is this one right here before you guys start saying Gotha doesn't work with uh, Merlin because she's unknown and he's unknown I get it however people like Outrush I like to counter Outrush that's one thing that I really, really like to do. So having Gotha for the gauge removal is just really, really nice. So, and if Merlin does die, because they will try to basically like stun her out, I will probably try to use Ludoseal on her at some point, but I want to see like when she crit, how much damage she does. So that's why I'm bringing uh, Sario Link for her. Escanor is in the back for when Merlin dies. Then he can come out and start using Gotha passive. If they kill Gotha before they kill Merlin, then I have two strong DPS on the field. If they kill Liz, I have two DPS. Like so, yeah, that's my train of thought. That Escanor being in the back just give us really high CC. So that being said, let's jump into some gameplay. All right, boys, let's see what we get for this match. Ooh, glue eater. Okay, so this guy looks like he' about to get clapped up. Oh, it looks like it's a player. Yeah, CC for a second, I was gonna be like, is it a bot? But it looks like it's a player. Yeah, this guy's dead. <laughs> this guy's actually dead. Katsumoto! Moto Moto, but you want to you want to die, bro? Yeah, buddy, you ooh merge, nice merger there. Wow, level three on Escanor. Let's just do that. Can we kill twice? I don't think so. Nice. Ooh, game is just feeding me with Merlin cards. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, so let's return the favor. Let's actually do this. And then do that. I want to save my level three. Get some life steal, top up Merlin. And we clapped him. Jeez. Ooh, Sariel in the back. This should be nice. It's 
So it looks like it's a level two wish shield. Okay. All right, so we drop the ulti and then we'll go for uh, okay. Okay. We'll drop the ulti and we want to go for Sario. Still did a decent amount of damage. Mm. Let's see if uh, what you call it? Let's see if Gotha breaks the shield. Looks like he's gonna try and stun. Okay. Liz dying is actually great. Let's get some rolling cards in here. Ooh. Eskino comes out and he's uh, ripe. Right into that action. Alright, so this one's over. <laughs> okay. Next match, boys. Alright, boys, what do we got here? Ooh, Assault Mode Meliodas team with... Okay, Dairy and Blue Droll. Real player detected. Looks like he's using old food. We'll just go ahead and shield there. We gave him one stack. Let's see what he decides to do. Ooh, baby, Merlin. Yes, yes, mama. Show me the way home. Alright, so he's uh, rushing ultimate and putting up a taunt with uh, Barry. Okay. Let us do this. I want to move this list card here. And then... Do I want to rush Liz ultimate? I think I want to, yes. I think I do. And then we show him that, listen, not only do I have the Liz ultimate, I also have uh, this big card that's coming for your... Uh, your droll. Or your dare. You decide. You decide, buddy. <laughs> Man decides to petrify. That's fine. You you decide what you want to do, buddy. Let's uh push him early ultimate as well. Derry has no buffs. So uh good luck killing. He didn't even put up a buff on Droll. So he goes straight in for Merlin, which doesn't matter because like, unless he kills her, actually, even if he, he kills her, it doesn't even matter because I'm just going to heal her up with Liz ultimate, right? And then I'm just going to like, just go ape shit. Like, this guy, give him some uh, resistance so the power strike card hits even harder. And then we do that. So we heal up the Merlin. Alright, with the Liz ultimate. Because we big brain. Now she's back at full health. And if she wasn't, this card would top up her HP. And then, freaking destroy his assault mode Meliodas and send his ass to church. Or the moss. Or the temple. Or wherever he uh, says his prayers. Because, uh, yeah. Now you forfeit the match, buddy. You thought Liz was there just for nothing? No. She's there in case Merlin's HP gets low. Then I just heal her up. And then just, uh... Donkey fuck you. <laughs> oh, man, I'm feeling like an animal today. Don't mind me, boys. 
Okay, cancel the buff, it doesn't matter at this point. Put up a taunt on draw. There you go. There you go. There you go. So uh we do this. Give him more resistance even. Then we uh do that. And then we stun draw if Joel is not dead. 2-6, let's see how hard we hit. Mm-hmm. Decent. Decent for 2-6, but did she clap? No, he didn't. He didn't die. Joel, why are you so tanky for it, bro? Does he have a uh, turn meal on him? Let me see. This guy's a goofy, bro. He doesn't even have turn meal grace on uh Oh wait, he can't even heal because uh Merlin life <laughs> stopped his lifesteal. I completely forgot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Blue Dairy is actually kind of nice for removing the boss. It doesn't even matter, bro. She didn't put up a taunt. So if we just do this, that, AoE, that should kill off Droll. And then we just stun. By the way, if you throw out. Oh, really? Anyways. Um, I thought that was gonna kill Joel, so misplay on my part. Anyways, point is, uh, if you throw out Liz Shield after Merlin ults, it overrides the shield, which is actually bad because um, Merlin Shield is obviously stronger than Liz Shield because it's based off the damage she dealt. So what I did there was kind of a misplay, but I was just trying to get rid of card, the cards out of my hand. So uh, just just so you know. Recovery disabled. Okay, Zell, I see you doing doing what you do. Let's just do this. And uh, uh man's forfeit anyways, because they couldn't get through my defenses, bruh. Like legitimately this is on this team is actually pretty pretty fog champ. Okay, so a glue eater team 147. Got the lucky Escanor start. We did not get any luck. But it's fine, we don't need that. We'll just do like this, and then like this. Can we crit? No crits. I think what I want to do is run Hendy in the back instead of my Escanor. Yeah, because then these two cards will hit so hard. I think I'll rank up on Merlin. And then just, uh, let's see, actually, let's see what he does. He's going to attack twice, I guess, three times. Oh, no, he's going for Liz. Okay. That's a smarter play. He still forces the revive, which is good. Okay, so that being the case, here's what we'll do. We will do. Kind of want to get the natural combined. Let's just do that. And this. See what he does here. He still has the rank up. I want to make Gother a target. So hopefully he does um, rank up on Liz, stuns Gother. Because then, okay, so he just merges and then stuns Gotha, I guess. Okay. I'm okay with that. Because then, I'll just do this, this. Actually, no, because then Eskimo is just going to peek next turn. We'll just do this. Stun out his Liz, and then put up a shield. For a second, because of the angle, I thought it was going to stun Escanor. I'm like, oh my gosh, that really just <laughs> fumble and stun Escanor while he's about to peek. <laughs> he still has his rank up, so he's going to rank up Escanor here and try and kill off Liz. Which kind of sucks. I hope he kills Gother. I don't think that kills. Yeah, no crits. Kick W. So we do this. 
Then we do this. And uh, why don't I put this? He has a lot of list cards in his hand, so I'm hoping that list doesn't die from the Gotha ultimate. But I think if anybody was gonna die, it would be her. Okay, so she didn't die. That's actually really good. But now she's gonna die. Give me a Merlin power. Okay, come on. No Merlin cards. So my Merlin's gonna get stunned. But then I can just rush Gotha ultimate again. And then stun his Liz. Because he's trying to like rush his Liz ultimate. Oh. Did he really just think that was, did you really think that was gonna work, my guy? Anyways, that's cute. Um let's do this. And then stun his Liz. I know we're wasting the pumpkin bombs, but like we should be able to break this. Just because we don't have any go through stacks. <laughs> so uh yeah. Let's see what he does here. There's no choice but to nuke into uh nuke into that <laughs> and kill himself off. Or I'm gonna kill him off next turn with a level three from Merlin. I think Red Goat there would be more beneficial. Oh, he's just gonna try and bonk. Okay, so he uh, actually kills Liz. This is this this actually is not a bad situation for me, to be honest, because then I can just do this. Then I AoE to life actually not life steal, I seal away his life steal. And I think this AoE is enough to kill Liz and Gother. Yep. And I think Eskimo might just kill his Eskimo. Nope, but then he has no life steal. It was a bad decision for him to kill Liz. He had Death Pierce in the back. Okay. I wonder if he was doing so much damage. I feel bad for this guy because he about to die. Because Eskimo not life stealing no more. <laughs> so his bombs are gonna be hella weak. I don't think he can kill anybody. He's thinking about how do I gracefully bow out of this match? Oh no, he's a fighter. He attacks Merlin. He attacks her again. Let's see what a 2 6 Merlin ultimate looks like. Nope, we don't. <laughs> Man, just forfeit after she doesn't die. Anyways, next game. Okay, so Glue Eater Team 143. Okay. Well, let's find out if this guy is outrush. Let's do that and that. Definitely a real player. Ooh, we crit too. Huh. <laughs> okay, let's see what he decides to do here. Does he shield? Ooh, wow, it's a very toxic turn here. Yikes. Big yikes. He has Nanashi in the back. So basically, okay. Opponent has forfeited the match. <laughs> okay, so even our free to play Merlin can put the fear of God in these guys and make them forfeit turn one. Wow. Just, just wow. Ooh. Assault mode Meliodas Melascula team. Alright. Let's do that, that, and that. Alright, real player detected. Hmm, do I want to get some level 3 cards for Merlin? Or... Do I want to... You know what, let me push Liz ult. Yeah. Let's... Push Liz ult. 
by moving these cards. And then, rank up on Merlin. See if he has that petrify. He should have it by now. Inhale. Okay. I don't know why you would go for a roller in that situation, but okay. Let us do that. Then stun the drool. Rank up on Merlin again. Okay. Ooh. So he's pushing Malaskula's ultimate. So what I'm gonna do here is try and kill Droll force the undead on him. Let's do this. Then that. Then see if we can kill Millie at the same time. Give Millie some resistance. Yo, Merlin, Merlin's disgusting, bruh. Merlin's actually disgusting. We don't even have goat the stacks, bro. <laughs> we just one shotted Droll and then just one shotted the melee. You know? <laughs> Merlin is built, bro. She actually built. Ta da! <laughs> Ta da! Coon! <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. Taunt up a Droll, bro. It doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter, bro. It really doesn't matter. Because uh, I'm just going to do this. Just, uh... Do that, do that, and then just stun Droll. Ta-da, Kun! Use your Malaskula ultimate, bro. It's trash anyways. The best you can do is one shot Merlin so she come back at the same HP. But you don't even push the revive because you can't. Because uh, damage is limited to 40%. And then, I'm going to just go ahead and do the... Oh! Man's, dis <laughs> man's uh, disconnected and forfeit the match. Alright, because what I was going to do is just use this ultimate. And then... Just fully heal Merlin and then just go on the offensive. It's, it's a GG, boys. So, yeah, that was good, man. Merlin can clap anybody, apparently. Crazy.